with his head. <coughs> Stretch it out to 35 minutes. One second. Thank you. Tonight I'm doing a very short uh, demonstration on uh, what I learned at a seminar in Las Vegas uh, earlier, earlier this month, uh, given by Stan Prannan, who's uh, head of the, I of the uh, Aikido Journal. And he was a student of uh, uh, Saito for a number of years, uh, who wrote the book, uh, interpreted the book Budo, that was written by Wishiba uh, in 1938. Wishiba was the founder of Aikido. And in 1938, uh, when he was 55 years old, he put together a book in Japanese uh, describing, uh, with, with pictures and text, uh, uh, the basis of his system of, of Budo. Budo is, is a uh, warriorship, and uh, and this was the uh, the predecessor of, of Aikido. And what I liked about it, uh, 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 she, uh Saito was with him for over 20 years, uh, including the last years of his life. He took care of him in the last last years of his life, and was was very knowledgeable of of uh, of uh, uh, uh techniques and he was considered the expert on it. And so uh, Stan Pratt, who uh, uh, studied in Japan for over 20 years, uh, lived there, he's from, from Las Vegas now, uh, is probably the world's most uh, authority on worship of the founder of Aikido. And so that's why I wanted to go to this seminar. And the seminar was based on this book. And uh, I'm gonna put, put aside right now. And uh, that, uh, and the uh, <coughs> uh, the reason for it was uh, these these were small private seminars uh, at a, at a small site in Las Vegas, and he wants to he's concerned about the status of Aikido is getting too too flowery and non-martial to put it in his words. And, uh, he wanted and so he's focusing on putting the martial back in martial arts. And, uh, and, and it was very interesting uh, just from that aspect. And what the interesting part of this book, uh, and I'm, the techniques we're doing, we'll do tonight, Travis and I will do tonight, are out, out of the book. Uh, we only we picked eight techniques. Uh, and we also worked on those at the, at the seminar. Uh, and the interesting thing about them is, most people think of Aikido as a defensive art. They even say it's a defensive art. We don't attack, we, we, we defend. Well, in, in uh, Rishima's book, there are a number of techniques that are where, where Tori attacks. And, uh, and the first three we're doing, Tori attacks. Okay, blocks, Tori attacks again. And, and the other, other uh, uh, group of, of uh, techniques in the book, uh, okay attacks, Tori counters with a punch, Uke, and then gives him another one. And so it's, uh, it's, it's very interesting to see all this coming together at this time when, they, when everybody's saying, uh, uh, oh, okay, this is just a wishy-washy thing. It's not, it's a true martial art. And, and we believe it's a good one. And so, uh, Travis, and what we're planning to do tonight, is there are only eight techniques. Uh, we're going to demonstrate them, Travis and I. And then uh, the, in the first, uh, uh, the first one is basically an exercise that's done virtually all Aikikai dojos. If you go to an Aikikai dojo, you're probably going to do this warm-up. Uh, and uh, the last one is a, uh, a good example of key extension. And then the, three, the, the six in the middle are, uh, are where uh, Tori's attacking or, or, or Yuki's attacking and Tori's defending. And so, uh, after we finish these, then we're going to uh, pair you guys up, bring you on the mat, and uh, and both uh, Travis, myself, and Bo uh, will work with your the different groups uh, to make sure we'll sort of oversee 
So if you, there, there are going to be uh, three groups, of, or two groups of two, and one group of three, I think. And so, and so uh, you guys can, can work it out and work yourselves out. But I'd like to see a, uh, a higher member with a lower member, uh, so that we're all getting it together. And then the three of us can sort of bounce around and, uh, and give you input. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, do the best you can. Now that's that's the another thing that came out of this seminar. You know, all this stuff you develop for a little guy this tall, and uh, and who was a great martial artist at one time. And but for some of the bigger guys, it doesn't work. And and uh, and so and so you have you have to adapt it. And that's the thing we we're, we're going to get out of this thing. If you got to take them down, if you, you know, if you got to, if they say take them down this far, you got to go all the way down. Go down and, uh, to make it work. And, and that's the important thing is to get. The other martial art that works. Okay, so uh, Travis and I are going to start with the initial one, Tai No Henka. It's a, uh, <clears throat> it's a, uh, we should have said everybody should do this every day. Like John said, everybody should be doing the walking every day. We should have said everybody should be doing this one every day because it gets your hips in shape. And uh, uh, so, all right. Take it one step further. All right. Next comes Ikyo, their number one technique. Aikino Tanren, excuse me. Aikino Tanren. on the mat. Carry up in about three moves. 